High traders market moved up yesterday like crazy, up 9%. And today the S&P started at zero and moved up to 1.5% and it's unsustainable. I'm looking for a big pullback and uh, here's MGM. I'm looking for stocks which are relatively weak. Now MGM is up 50%, but look at the fact that it's down at the lows. Now under the lows, I missed it. I wanted to short it, waiting for a small pullback, about to short now. Now I'm short MGM, just came down under the lows. The market is again way too extend to the upside i'm going to talk about this later and now i'm going to short some stocks which are relatively weak i want to short zm2 zm is uh, probably going to come down with the market as well i'm going to short 8000 shares i had a great trade yesterday in zm shorting now and take a look at boeing boeing looks great i'm shorting right here now Short 8,000 shares in Boeing. Boeing is up 18%, but it's getting down to the lows. And again, the market is still at the highs. I'm looking at the market pulling back down right now. Boeing should come down with the market. Now take a look at Win. I'm about to short Win, shorting now 4,000 shares. Same story. It's coming down to the lows. The market's coming down just a bit from the highs. I expect the market to continue down. MGM is approaching my target. I was looking for... 25 to 30 cents and I've got a little bit more and I'm about to take my partial taking now and look at Boeing look at Boeing $24,000 $26,000 and coming <laughs> win win just moved to a new law about to take my partial in win I'm short 4,000 shares I'm going to cover 3,600 at any sign of a pullback covered now I've got my first uh, my second partial after MGM nice trade in win However, I do have some serious issues with ZM. That's a huge loser here. I'm going to have to stop it over 146. Watch the sellers now at 146. I may get saved by the whole number. Look at the number of sellers at 146. Very high number. Very high number. It, oh, it's over. And I'm closing it. I'm out of uh, ZM. Big loss. Beyond. Looking to short beyond. Now I clearly see the market coming down. And I'm going to short beyond here, 4,000 shares. Shorting now. So again, I'm looking at the market, the S&P. If the S&P is going to come down, then everything is going to come down. And I really, really hope I wasn't wrong. So Boeing is trending lower. Well, I had over $20,000 earlier. It just pulled back up. And it's coming down again, and I have to trust it to move under the lows. And it all has to do with the continuation of the S&P, and it looks great. <laughs> oh, thirty, forty thousand dollars. Look at Boeing go. Look at it go, fifty thousand dollars, and just touching the sixty thousand dollars. About to take my partial, taking my partial right now. Wow, what a great trade in Boeing. Now let's take a look at beyond. Beyond is just about to move under the recent lows. The market does continue lower, so I trust Beyond to do that. I'm up $3,400, and I'm getting ready to cover 3,600 shares. Come on, baby, break down, and it just did. Up $5,000, and it's going, and it's going. Come on, come on, just a bit. Now $6,000 and going, about to cover. Any sign for pullback, look at the sellers. It's just jumped up a bit. I'm clicking the button. I've got my partial in Beyond. It's another great trade. Now let's take a look at the results here. Guys, I've been trading for 23 minutes. Look at the clock here, 9.53. I've got $45,000 in closed trades and another $1,300 in open trades. I've got uh, four winners, one very big loser in ZM, but uh, Boeing did cover more than twice on that. So... What an amazing trading day. All of these trades were called live in my trading room and you're very welcome to join us for a free 14 day trial just by clicking here. Now, I do want to discuss with you why the S&P direction is extremely important and how to manage the S&P. So let's take a look. So here's the S&P. Now you can see yesterday's move. The S&P moved yesterday 9%. That's a huge upside move. So what do you expect the next day? Usually you would expect some continuation the momentum trade you expect the market to move higher but we need to remember we are at times when the market moved down dramatically from the recent highs where the corona virus crash therefore you can't trust the market to continue much higher anyway we did that we moved from here up two and a half percent to the top 
At the point where we, we were very close to the point, I started thinking that the market was way too extended to the upside. Why is that? If you take a look at the last green candles, look way, look back two days, look for an extended move like the one we've seen today in, during the first 10 minutes. These two green candles here are only 10 minutes into the trading day and we moved up dramatically, I mean, two and a half percent. That's not something you've seen recently. So when the market moved up two and a half percent, I mentioned in the trading room that we are, in my opinion, way too extended and starting to look for shorts. I started looking for stocks which were at that time looking relatively bad. Like MGM was at the lows when the market was at the highs. So what would I expect? I would expect the market to continue moving down because we're just to start moving down because we are extended to the upside. And I would expect some stocks who are showing relative weakness to come down under the lows and continue coming down. So that was MGM. That was win. I thought it was the M. I was wrong. That was definitely Boeing with a beautiful breakdown formation. And uh, I mean, everything else. So I went short, one was wrong, ZM did not work out, uh, the rest worked out fine, but the whole idea in principle is to look at the S&P 500 and then to determine what is the direction of your trade. And why is that? The S&P is the main working tool of the institutional traders. I could talk about this for an hour. This is the first uh, lesson I give in the Star Trader course. And again, you're very welcome to join us if you like that. But the main tool of a trader is to watch the S&P 500 because then you can expect what the institutional traders are going to do. So if the S&P is moving higher, you go long. If the S&P starts to move back or you expect the S&P to move back because as I mentioned earlier, the market in my opinion was overextended, then you go short because you know that the institutional traders who are about to short today, sorry, about to sell today, not to short today, are about to start selling. Therefore, it's very likely that the market will come down and therefore the stock that I'm following will come down too. That's it. That's my two cents for today. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about the, how the S&P behaves, then just uh, click on the next slide for my book and you can get the first chapters right now for free. You can download it right now. And if you want the whole book, it's in Amazon. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.